I was so lonely until I met you Told myself I'd get by without love Drowning my sorrows, avoiding tomorrows Kind of felt that I just had enough You light up my face with your jokes and your smiles And the way that you came every night Don't know what you got, but I'm sure glad I found you Could be wrong, but it sure feels It's Rob, and we're going to do an acoustic guitar tutorial today on the baby's excellent song, Back on My Feet Again, from the Union Jacks album, 1980. It was the first song on that record. I'm all fired up because I saw John Waite play last night in concert here in Georgia, and 70 years old, he's still got it. He's still cranking it out. The pipes still sound good, so... Uh, it was a lot of fun seeing him. I've never seen him. I never got to see the babies. And I love the babies. So uh, it was great to see him. And let's get into how to play this song. On acoustic guitar, there's actually a lot more going on than you would imagine in this song. It seems fairly simple, but because of the combination of Jonathan Cain's keyboard parts, yes, Jonathan Cain from Journey, who wrote Don't Stop Believing, did a little stint in the babies, and he's on this record, Union Jacks. So between the stuff he's playing on his keyboard, the stuff that's happening on guitar, the stuff that's happening on bass, there's a lot of motion in these chords. There's a lot of chords that are kind of implied, but they're not being fully played. I'll show you what I mean here, and I'll show you what I think the best way is to play it, which is the way I just showed you how to do it right now. Start off with this A. Now, of course, A is down here, and you can do that. You can do whatever you want. Hey, it's America. But uh, I like doing this because the notes ring out. It sounds lovely. So I'm playing the F shape, just like I would play an F down here. But of course I'm playing it up here where it's an A. But I'm not playing the top string note. I'm not playing that high A. I'm letting it ring out as an E. So I get... Sounds nice and acoustic when you're just accompanying yourself. So I am not playing the low E either. No E's in this one at all. We are... Well, actually that's not true because I got an E fingered right here. No open E's at all. I've got the open A. I am uh, fingering this note up here, which I believe is also an A. It is. So I've got two A's going on here. The open A. I've got the A that I'm fingering here. Four string, seventh fret. I am fingering this note here, which is the six string, third fret. And you get... And then the last note is the E. It's the E on the fifth string here. So I'm playing the A, but I'm playing it in a way that's kind of more open and airy. It sounds nice when you're playing on acoustic. That's the first chord. I was so lonely. And then you're playing a sus. So you're just going to add your pinky here to the seventh fret of the G string, the seventh fret of the third string. So whereas you had this, now you're going to have this. Again, just laying your pinky down here right down here on the seventh fret. You had the sixth fret fingered here, and now you're gonna have the seventh fret. And that is your sus note. Your sus would be a D, so this has to be a D. All right, so you're gonna have, I was so lonely. Now the next chord here is a cool chord. It's kind of an implied chord, like I said, it's not a full chord. You're gonna have the A ringing out. You're going to go down to, the sixth string on your D string, your fourth string, sorry, the sixth fret on the D string, your fourth string, and you're gonna play this note, which is a G sharp. You're gonna play with your first finger, the B note on the G string, which is the fourth fret G string. So you have, and then again, you go back to your E here. So you've got whatever I said this note was, G sharp, B, an E. And what chord has G sharp, B's, and E's? Well, it's an E. So really, you're kind of implying the E chord, but not fully playing it, if that makes any sense. So really what you're playing here is A, A sus, E, A. If I played it in the normal cowboy chords, you would have 
could play it that way, it's okay, but it doesn't really have the same tonality. So, in the verse we're doing. Sounds nice, everything rings out. Again, this last chord is open A, sixth fret of the fourth string, fourth fret of the G string, the third string, the open, the, uh, I keep saying that, the E fretted on the fifth string, and then the open E ringing out as well. So A, G sharp, B, E fretted, E open. And this is the chord, how it sounds. It sounds really nice. It rings out. There's kind of things that sound like they're interfering a little bit, but it gives it kind of a mysterious sound. Sounds lovely. Again, it's an E chord or implying an E chord, but you're not really playing it the normal way people play E. So you have... The only other chord in the verse is your A, your E, and your D, which I just move this shape down and play it in uh, the position two frets down. Now this is your, what would be called a D chord, or a D sus, a D2, you can call it a lot of different things, but what is it? It's the open A again that I'm hitting. Now I'm hitting the F sharp, or the fourth fret on the fourth string. Now I'm hitting the A, which is the second fret on the G string, and the D. Now I'm hitting the D. So you actually have the D and the E ringing. Now, it doesn't sound that great on its own, but as a passing chord, when you're moving back and forth and whatever, it sounds really cool to do this. It's a nice little way to play it. So what you could do alternatively is play an A, you could play a G sharp on the bass, sorry, the G sharp on the bass, an F sharp on the bass, it just doesn't sound as good to me, but uh, basically you could get away with that as well. So again, holding your A, fingering a G sharp on the bass with your third finger, Changing the fingering to finger a F sharp. I like this way a lot better than I'm showing you here. So again, uh, chords in the verse. I'm so lonely, your E. And then back to A. Uh, a. A, A sus, E, A. And then it's A, E, E, E. There's a little hesitation in here. And then E, A. So A, E, D, E, A. You gotta have to listen to the record to hear how it goes rhythmically, but pretty simple. So what I've showed you so far is. So that's those four chords. In the chorus, uh, you're gonna use the same chords and you're just gonna play them in a different uh, rhythm, which is. It's hard to change from this fingering here of the D's and the E's to flip around to the A. So I actually have to look at the fingerboard to do it instead of the video, which I'm used to doing. But uh, anyway, your chorus is A. I'm back on my feet again. And I can't sing it in that high octave that John Wake does. Man, he's got a good voice. Uh, you know, I can sing the verses and then I gotta go low instead of high in the choruses. So this one is not an easy song for me to sing, but be that as it may, I'll show you how to do it, and maybe you can do it better than me. So you got A, A, E, D, 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 E, E, A, E, D. Can I play it with normal cowboy chords? Sure. Again, it just doesn't have the same kind of sound where you're kind of imitating what the keyboards are playing when you play it with these open chords. On my feet again. So that's the verse and the chorus. Um, oh, sorry. Coming into the verse, you will have to go to the normal chords. So, uh, don't know what I got, but I sure glad I found you. 
could be F sharp minor, E, and then D. For the D, I'm leaving the E ringing. You could play a regular D. I'm doing it with only uh, the A and the D note sounding. I think that's what you hear on the record. So <clears throat> going into the chorus, you get <clears throat> could be wrong, but it sure feels right. And here I am, etc. So F sharp minor, bar chord, E, normal E, and then D, which we call a D add two. We're gonna add the ringing open E note and not finger uh, anything on that high string. And for that, you're only really strumming the D, uh, the G, the B, and the E string. If you strum the A, doesn't really sound that good. So kind of focus on those lower four strings. And you will get there. All right. Only other thing happening in this song, we've gone over 10 minutes, so I'm going to uh, quickly get through it. Um, the uh, bridge and the solo check. Section, the bridge and the solo section. I was down for the count. G and D, G and D, A. And these, I think you can play normal chords. You can do a thing like they're doing on the record where you're doing. Uh, or something like that. But uh, I'll let you figure that part out. I was down for the count. G and D, G and D, I was A. Then here it goes, G, C, D. I was hiding my face, sick of trying. Oops, it lands on A there. Let me go through that again. Uh, I was down for the count, G and D. I was uh, down, I was beat, I was crying. All right, and then I'm adding these notes here, F and D. So I'm going back to like that chord that imitates E down here. Adding that if you want to try it. I was cornered and hurt. I was G C. So that's what I think happens. It goes G C A. I was cornered and hurt. I was hiding my face and trying. Yeah, okay. So G C and then A. Not a normal progression that you would regularly hear, but it's there. And then uh, for the guitar solo, you have dun 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 For this, what I play is a D, and I put my thumb down on the F sharp. So you get dun 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 And now an F. Once again, if you're just going to play those chords, G, D with an F sharp in the bass, and then an F bar chord, and back to your A into the third verse. All right, that's enough of this. Boy, I've been going on forever. All right, it's a great song. I hope you get some ideas on how to play uh, Back on My Feet again from this video. If you do, I've got lots more tutorials and all sorts of fun stuff on this channel. Please like, subscribe, do all the things. All right, thanks, later.